Hello and welcome back to the Alpha 21 Survival Guide. I did do a couple of things during the night you might want to know about. I got all of my padded armor up to level 5 because at some point yesterday I got enough armor magazines to do that. That means I can put all the mods I wanted on my armor. I replaced my military helmet with a padded hood because I wanted to have a water purifier and a helmet light mod and a triple armor pocket mod. What we're going to be doing today is unrelated to all of that, so I apologize for wasting your time. <laughs> we're going to be going to the desert with my new 4x4 because the first thing I need to do is get a food source for this 4x4 because it eats gas. And the easiest way to get a lot of gas quickly is to find the desert biome, find oil shale and mine it. Now, because I generated this world and I got a preview of it, I know that the desert is kind of here-ish over by Trader Bob, which is great because Trader Bob is great. We love Trader Bob. He's the vehicle guy. By the way, this has a reserve fuel tank on it, so it can have up to, I think, 15,000 gas in the tank. This thing can really eat some gas. Now, one of the benefits of me now having a helmet light -like mod and a water purifier and a triple armor pocket mod is I can come and drink the water. Now people were saying you have to sort of look at the water for a few seconds before the prompt appears. But we're also going to be doing a bunch of other stuff in the desert, but I need another skill point before I can do that. Now here's an important question we probably all need to know. How much damage does it do if I just plow through a human? Honestly, it only did a few percent of uh, health on this. That's not a terrible way to just dispatch of a zombie, but I did notice it only gave me 50% XP, so that's worth knowing. Here is the promised land. Let me use a million repair kits on that one journey. Okay, so maybe I need to go to a few driver's ed lessons. In my defense, it was all off-road. Now here's an interesting thing we should check. Out here, I'm, my game stage is 72. If we have a little mosey on over into this slightly warmer environment, I'm 109. Mm. So in Alpha 21, they've made it so that biomes actually give you a game stage boost. So if you're looking for a harder challenge, even on Horde Night, you can go to, you know, different biomes and get way more extreme uh, zombies in your POIs and way more dangerous Horde Nights. And you will technically get better loot, although it doesn't tend to be a good enough loot boost until you're a good level already, so keep that in mind if you think it's a way to just skip to the end of the game. It is a small boost and then a percentage boost, so you do kind of have to have some loot stage on you already. Hey, Bob. Well earned, traveler. Well earned. Now let's see what he has. He has a bicycle. He's the vehicle guy. Of course he does. Now, this is a trader worth leveling. Not necessarily for me, because I already have the 4x4 and I don't really want a gyrocopter. If you want those kinds of things, he's your man. He will sell them if you just get his quests up quite high. But we didn't really come to the desert for quests. We came for resources, particularly oil shale. Particularly a lot of it. Hello, dog. Ow, barbed wire. So to find oil shale, we want to probably look on our map and look for these very, very faint beige dots. Ah, now small problem, this might be too close to the trader to actually mine. Oh no, we're good. So yeah, this is oil shale, this is what it looks like, this is where you find it. There's nothing special about it, you mine it like any other ore. I'm gonna mine it for a little bit and then come back, I'm not gonna make you sit through it. You, you get it, right? You get it? You get it. Okay, so I set a timer for 10 minutes in real life there and I got 6,000 400 oil shale, which is enough to make eight stacks of gas cans or 40,000 gas, which is enough to keep my 4x4 going for, you know, at least an in-game week. So for 10 minutes of mining, that's not too bad. Um, That was, by the way, with four ranks of Miner 69 or four ranks of Mother Load and an iron pickaxe with the mods. Not bad. Honestly, you could probably expect twice that if you used an auger. There's some other things I want to do in the desert while I'm here, but I've not got that skill point I wanted, so I think we should maybe do a quest or two for Trader Bob. He will still give you all the completion rewards Trader Joel did. Each instance of a trader has their own quest progression, so you're pretty much fine to do it. Now, desert buried supplies are better than normal buried supplies because the desert terrain is a lot weaker. 
meaning you can do them faster. Here we are. Right, let's see, can I just one-shot all this? Nice, this is gonna be way easier than it normally is. Oh, there it is. Home cooking weekly and a bunch of useless food. I need the XP, so we will take these guys on. I'm also gonna scrap a bunch of these cars, because I'm gonna need gas to even leave the place. Never mind when I get back and make all that gas. Because it is absolutely devouring it. What does 200 gas even do? 1%, my god. Hey, Bob. Many thanks for, for a tier 1 berry supplies. Are you sure? I'm gonna do another one. I'm in a bit. Thank you. I'm have we got a level? What I want to put that into is a single rank of a perk called Living Off the Land. This gives you double the harvest of wild or planted crops, and the wild crops are some of the best things about the desert. We'll see why in a moment. So, the first plant you're going to be interested in in the desert biome is this, aloe vera. If we stab it with Living Off the Land 1, we get two crops. If we break two of them, we can make one aloe cream. Aloe cream is then used in first aid bandages. First aid bandages, of course, are pretty much the main healing item of the game. They give you 30 health back. Now, on lower difficulties, 30 health is quite a lot. It's going to be a case of you get hit a few times and then use a first aid bandage. Here on insane difficulty, I pretty much have to use a first aid bandage every single time I get hit. So having a lot of these is a lot more useful to me. So I'm going to spend the next 10 minutes just stabbing aloe. And I'll get back to you with how much I gather and how many bandages we can turn that into later. Now, I was going to do this separately, but I thought it's actually a lot more efficient, especially since I found this big cluster of yucca or yucca however you want to say it. I'm going to alternate to annoy everybody equally. So this is yucca and it's used in yucca juice and yucca juice smoothies. Now yucca juice is not really all that worth making. I don't think it only gives you like 24 hydration and it costs a water which gives you 20 so it's not really worth it but you could just smoothies if you can also get blueberries and snowballs you can make a very very powerful drink item so i'm going to collect a bunch of these on my 10 minute run here and we'll see how many of those i get as well okay my 10 minutes is up let's see what i gathered got 240 aloe leaves and 106 yucca slash yucca so what i'm gonna do first is just make a few aloe seeds now these take five each but it's just to make sure i have some for the future if i want to make a farm it would be really annoying if I wanted to start farming these and then realized, oh, I didn't keep any. So I'm just doing it pretty much to make sure I don't have to eat shit later and drive all the way back out here. I'm going to scrap this engine because I'm out of inventory space and craft some yucca seeds. Now, what we can do with the aloe we gathered is turn it all into 53 aloe cream, giving me a total of 54. If I go and stab one more plant, we can actually make that 55 total drop that one because it'll annoy me. 54 or 55 aloe cream in this case will translate to 55 first aid bandages. Now this is kind of unnecessary and the yucca is going to be used in yucca juice smoothies later on. I can make 40 of them with this plus I'll have my little reserve for farming if I want to do it but I also need to get a bunch of blueberries and snowballs. I don't have a yucca juice smoothie on me so I don't know the stats specifically but it's a good amount of water, it's a good amount of health, it gives you some food and I think it has some temperature benefit as well. And also, it doesn't actually take any water to make it, which is kind of cool. That's a pretty useful food item that requires absolutely no wasted water. So if we can get some of that, that'll be nice. But what I do kind of want to do now is actually do some quests for Bob, because if I do this other berry supplies for him before the end of the day, then I can do his other five jobs tomorrow and get tier one complete with him, which will basically double my standing with him and the stuff he gives me should be you know twice as good basically which i kind of want to see because immediately he was giving me mini bike parts and bicycles so maybe he'll have some really cool stuff that i don't necessarily need i just want to see it for demonstrative purposes for you guys so let's go out and do his buried supplies job annoyingly it sent me back into the forest biome which is annoying because the grass has more health than the desert terrain has meaning this is going to be slower but maybe it won't be too bad There it is. Grab that. Jump out. Hopefully don't die trying to do that. Right, let's go back to the Bob. Run this quest in for him. 
it must be my lucky day. This is less good, but I'll take the duct tape. You always need duct tape. See, he also has a fetch a few hundred meters away. I might actually be able to get done before the night even starts. So, oh, here we go. This looks like an interesting place. Oh, this is the one with, like, the vulture and the dog, right? Come on. Whoa, two dogs. This is an absolutely terrible tier 1 PY, by the way. Like, new players should never be sent here. That You would die instantly, and that's just unfair to them. Ooh, a level 6 wrench. Right, let's grab this. I don't think we're going to get back in time, so let's just clear it out and see what we get in the loop. I can turn my helmet light on for you now. What do we get in loot here then? Shotgun Messiah and a bunch of spear parts. Another explosives. And it's nighttime. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna walk around this town and loot all the mailboxes that I missed. Books are useful. Okay, so it's the morning of day 20. I've been running around this town. Pretty much fine, took a few hits, but I have first aid bandages on me. I've been looting all the mailboxes and I looted the tier one trailer park POI, which had a lot of good stuff in it. But the books we managed to get was one big hitters, one armored up, which unlocks as leather and iron qual and iron armor at quality one, three books of explosives, which is nothing new, Billy dogs, two rifle worlds, we're up to 92 on those, and one tools digest. Oh, and two sledgehammer books. I see a couple of more useful containers here, so I'm going to quickly loot those two. Oh, four motor tool parts. One thing that is really good about having such high salvage operations, aside from the gas, is look at how much cloth I have from just scrapping cars. I can make so many bandages with that and then actually make those first aid bandages I was talking about. Kinda of crazy. I've filled the 4x4 already. Oh, that's that's a lot of first aid. And there we go, all those bandages are crafted. And we can make 55 of these. So excessive, but also really useful. I'm gonna throw the extra bandages away, aside from one stack. Which I usually, in fact, you know what? I usually keep a stack in case I get normal bleeding, but I have so many first aid bandages now that I can waste them on that. So yeah, that's fine. Let me refuel this. Head over to Trader Bob. Hey. You go, friend. Whatever you need. I will take more duct tape. Now, do you have any more jobs? Okay, it's a bunch of fetches. We can do this very easily today. I'm gonna have to be more picky with my loot because I am full, and so is the four x four. Or rocket launcher parts. I must have like 50 rocket launcher parts at this point. All right, Bob, give me the best quest reward you have. I got just the thing for what's ailing you. Yep, that's probably about right. <laughs> Let's take another one. God bless you. I'm just going to rush them because, again, loot and the rewards aren't that good anyway. So, All right, Dell's Cafe. Let's see what you have for me. Ah, you have your smoothie. Okay, so they give you 22 food, 11 health, 78 water, and 30 cold resist. They are very good food items, as I said. But I didn't have one on me, so I couldn't say for sure what it was now. Vending machine with... You could just smooth these as well? I'm not buying them, though. Or honestly, why not, right? Like, I have so much money. I know I only have 2,000 or whatever on me, but I have so much overall. And they're very good food items, so why not? Hey, dog. And then this. I think the loot room's in here, though, so we might as well grab it. Bill's Digest. And Armored Up. Nice. I cannot see my lockpicks. <laughs> oh, there they are. <laughs> that was annoying. A level 2 AK and some money. Ooh, crafting seal magazine bundle every time. Two explosives, two two tech planet, and two rifles. We've unlocked level three rocket launchers now. Let's see what else he has. Let's do it clear. Bookcase. Damn it, another book I already knew. Good, a level one pistol and saved. Burning shaft and some money. It must be my lucky day. Duct tape. And here you go. Would you kind of right, let's knock out these last tier twos. When does the trader reset? Twenty-two. Okay. All right, I'm bored of winning so easily. I'm going to take them down with my iron pickaxe. Ow.
Ooh, that's a lot of money. Uh, I'm going to eat this blueberry pie because I need inventory space. Hey there. Well, that was lucky. Um, another book I've already read. I wish they would do that thing with skill. Oh, nerdy glasses. Nice, but they're red. Oh, that's a feral. Okay. Game. I know what I said, and I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. You're very difficult. And I shouldn't have tried to be funny and use an iron pickaxe to clear a tier 1 DOI. Clearly I hurt your feelings. Can, can we talk about this? I wonder if light attacks are more efficient. <laughs> oh yeah, just destroy the pipes, why don't you? Take it out on the local wildlife. Ow! That did so much damage. Fortunately, she's very slow and I have a million first aid bandages. He staggers forwards. How does that work? This might take a very long time. Ow. Now I'm gonna have to drink a, a yucca juice smoothie to restore all that water. Look what you made me do. How much health can you possibly have? Just die already. That's probably her at half health now. It's usually what the knockdown means. There we go. My god. Try and do one funny thing. Right, I'm gonna scrap these. I already wear a pair of those, so don't panic. <laughs> it's not like I just threw away the most valuable item in the game. I just wanted them for the red dye. Oh, hey. Just hiding there. Just sitting on the counter. You little goblin. Hmm? Being a little goblin, Arlene? Good pile. Good book. Oh, you're gonna be tough, aren't you? Ow. Answers that question. You should have some armor. Pe <laughs> the game's perfect. I don't know why anybody complains when I complain about it. Like, it has no flaws. What was I even saying? Yeah, my pickaxe should actually have a small amount of armor piercing because of the penetrator perk. Okay, what loot do we get? Nothing helpful. What do you seek, friend? I will take the crafting skill magazine and I will take... None of these are particularly helpful. <laughs> I will take a free water filter, I guess. Got any special jobs? Not take me to trade a wreck. Not self. Do not go there. For? Two big hitters, two forge heads, and two electrical traps. Alright, what do I do now then? Yeah, let's go home. Let's hand in that quest to Trader Joel. We we don't need we don't need to deal with wreck today. Nobody signed up for that. Well, this is great. <laughs> I complained too much. I think it was a tier two, but oh, we found a Trader Gen to the north. Nice. So I'm gonna go back to my base and just sort out this inventory. And then we'll see if I can do something I was thinking over there. A bit of an idea, a brainwave, if you will. Okay, so chemistry station. Talk to me. What can we do here? Uh, I don't know how much fuel we're going to need, but eight stacks of gas. That'll take two hours. This is going to take a lot of right clicks. Uh, let's see, I also have 16 aloe cream just here and a bunch of cloth. So let me make 16 bandages. And then 16 more first aid bandages. There we go. So now... Look at all those first aid bandages and first aid kits and painkillers. I am equipped and I have so much medicine now that it will just pile up because I will find more than I will use. Okay, so my plan there was I'm six books away from being able to make level five rifles. I think I can do that, but I I'm not 100% sure what the best way to get those rifle magazines is going to be. I'm thinking maybe just grinding to your two jobs again is the way to do it. Any of this gas produced yet? How long does it take? It takes 15 minutes. Okay, we'll just live off the gas I have. Yeah, I think I'm going to go see Trader Joel and just take a bunch of jobs from him. When I can't do any more jobs, I'm just going to start looting every house I can find. Because I feel like the rifle magazine spawns in more than enough places that if I just go to every house I see, I should just end up with the rifle magazines done anyway. Come on, you got one rifle magazine for me in here, I can feel it. Ooh, that's good. We just unlocked the 
final rank of Art of Mining. That gives you a... No! They nerfed it! It doesn't give you a 20% chance to one-shot ore anymore. It just gives you 20% more ore. It's just a rank of Motherlode. No! Why? I'm sad now. Why, Fun Pimps? Why do you hate fun? Why do you call yourselves that? How do you dare call yourselves that when you remove things like that? You, you like this. Who hurt you? Although the final rank is still good, but it's nowhere near as good as it used to be. And more importantly, it's a lot more boring. Which is the opposite of fun. It must be my lucky day. Thank you. Why are the Buried Supplies missions giving me such good stuff, but level 4 quests aren't? Are these bugged in the opposite direction? I'll take that. I'll use it later, though. I don't have any heavy armor points now. Now I kind of want to do all the Buried Supplies I can, but it doesn't have any. Okay, well, the quest doesn't necessarily matter. We'll definitely check him for some Buried Supplies quests tomorrow, because they seem to be giving me strange rewards for Tier 2. But in the meantime, I'm just going to go to every house and loot it. One rifle's two explosives. Okay, we're getting there. Need five more. Ah, one rifle mag. Nice. We need four more. Okay, one weapons bag. Come on. Yes. We need three more. Also, if I'm going to make a sniper rifle, I'm going to need a lot of forged steel. I'll need 150 by the looks of it. Let's see what we can do here. I've got 33. That's not going to be enough. I've got a bunch of iron though, right? There's some... I've got some clay as well. Let me take like half my clay. Put this in here, this in here, and just let that run until I'm done. I'll craft out the 33 forged steel there. I already have none. That's annoying. <laughs> okay, well I can always scrap for it. I have level 5 salvage operations. I can do it a lot faster than normal. Okay, and we have two stacks of gas, which isn't even going to fill my truck to 100%. Yeah. It's a big tank. Okay, let's go see Trader Joel and get some tier 2 jobs from him, or maybe some tier 3s because they have really good chances of those uh, magazine bundles. All I need is two really lucky magazine bundles and I'll have the sniper rifle. Hey Joel, do these. These are tier 3 so I'm gonna have to fight zombies every damn time. It's gonna be kind of messy but I can probably handle it. I just immediately fail that. Huh? Was I- what? Okay. Let's try that again. <laughs> and it's in a road. I hate that. Oh, it's above me. I'm going to get this. That's trash loot. And I'm going to run away now. Hopefully it gives me a bundle though, or like just really good quest rewards, because it seems like the buried supplies are somehow the ones that are overpowered, whereas everything else is now underpowered. I don't, I don't know why or how that happens, but it seems like it. Here is your reward. For your okay. Okay, so he does have some decent stuff for a tier three here. I don't really want any of it in particular, because the armor's kind of meh. So he's only two, two percent better than mine. Um, I'll take the antibiotics then. You know what? I'm gonna go back to just doing nearby tier twos and tier ones. Right, let's get this started. You better not be a feral biker. Oh god. Mm -mm. Not today, Saint. Worth it. <laughs> Those things are tanky and they do like a hundred damage per hit. No, thank you. Don't want any part of that. Oh my god, why? Why? On the first hit. On the first hit he gave me. And I get a broken, a sprained leg, sorry. There's no need, oh hey. No need for that. You get nuked as well. You're still alive, aren't you? You're missing a leg. Fortunate for you, I guess. But you know how I feel. Okay, I'm, I'm not missing the arm. You win. Oh, it's a radiated zombie. Of course it is. That was not worth it. I don't care what I get in here. A lot of ammo, but still not worth it. Just grabbing some steroids real quick, because that will stop my thingy from getting worse. So it will just heal in 10 minutes now. I don't have to worry about it. Dude, friend, I 
and forge steel. Well, that sucks massively. Uh, let's just use tier 1s then. It'll reset all the POIs I was already clearing, giving me more chances at mailboxes and stuff. There's a bookcase. And it doesn't have anything useful in it. Has it just decided to remove the rifles from the loot table three books early, or... What's happening? Alternatively, I could also check the Joel up here for a quick crack -a book POI. That would also probably... What the hell did I just do to my truck? What did I do? Ugh. Physics. Anyway, as I was saying, the crack -a book POI would probably give me what I need. Okay. There's no crack about POI or any gun POI, so let's just go drive around for like an hour. In fact, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to do the Sword Knight with a lever action rifle and wait until I get three more magazines. The game was fine giving me magazines until I hit 97 of rifles and it just stopped. It just said, no, this is where your progression ends. We would like to now give you tools digest. A lot. Yet another demoralizing experience of being held back by random number generation. Yay, my skill is being rewarded and I am satisfied playing this video game. Alright, Horde Knight checks. Need to repair my gear. Grab some explosives, food and water. A couple of pipe bombs, some grenades, a little bit of extra ammo I might end up actually using that much. I got some spare concrete ready to go. A little bit is enough. Some spare medicine, some of these. I didn't get any skull crushers, but I should be okay. I have like a steel spear now. Right, let's start taking my vitamins. Pretty much the only thing I have to stack up on today. I didn't bring any skull crushers, but I really shouldn't need them, to be honest. Where the spear fails, the rifle will do. And where the rifle fails, we have explosives. Here we go. Day 21 horde. I'm sure my base will be fine. Are we done? What's the damage here? What did they do? Oh, they just took out some of the padding. Why though? What are they- Oh, hello. Oh, they started getting into here. What for? Why are they attacking that? If that's not a destroy area thing, like, they went out of their way to go down there. 
Why? Why is the pathing broken? Ugh. It's fine, we'll make a new base eventually. Ah, oh, rifles. Cute. We have three skill points. Wait, 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 wait. So I'm going to put one point into perception. One point into penetrator. I'm pretty much done with perception there. Maybe much, much later on we'll get to tanning, max out all these skills. But that's all I really needed. This will let me hit four targets with one shot with an armor piercing 762. When I get that and a sniper rifle, I'll be able to just absolutely blast the horde if i just get like a similar long walkway like that and just force them down it they will be annihilated so that is going to be good so we've done perception we're waiting for strength the next course of action i think is going to be getting a little bit of fortitude and doing some farming just to spice it up i suppose and then we'll do some agility and i'll get parkour because that's very good for doing tier 5 pois now tier 5 pois are pointless useless pieces of garbage but they're entertaining to watch for the series so i will be doing a bunch of them later in the series just because it's content and i'll want parkour for that so yeah thank you all for watching this episode of the seven days to die alpha 21 survival guide and thank you to my channel members and patrons for making this video possible i'll see you in the next one